All right, let's blow up some biceps today and see if we can't make this lightweight feel like shit. So biceps are probably one of the more rewarding muscles to hit when you're limited on weight and equipment because really just a couple of tweaks makes an incredible connection to the muscle, creates some serious damage, and you can easily get some growth out of them. And what it comes down to is just being a little more creative than you normally would, not being afraid to quote unquote, break an exercise and really create something new out of it. For instance, if you're stuck at home with 15 pounds, you're gonna to try to curl, you're gonna be there for a while. Even with concentration curls, it's just gonna take a while to fatigue that muscle and break it down. So what you can do is halfway up through the movement, you can change direction. So you can see in a regular curl, about halfway up, the bottom portion of the movement to halfway up is really where the shortening of the actual muscle happens. Everything from here to here, there really isn't much going on. So what you can do is take that part of the movement and actually pull back towards your body, really shorten that bicep even more and do what I think is the best thing you do for biceps is make the top of the contraction the actual complete flex of the bicep. So instead of here, you're sitting there, you're flexing into it, you're getting your shoulder and front delt involved. From here, you're taking that elbow back and making the fully flexed bicep stop the actual movement. One of the hardest things about doing this and try to give somebody quote unquote the best exercise for them is, you know, when I used to train people in person, I used to be able to ask them questions and say, hey, I want you to try these three variations and let me know which one feels best. And it would always be a little bit different. You know, for the most part, I can kind of guess based upon, you know, the insertions of their biceps, things like that. But you don't, you don't really know until you actually see somebody do it and you go, okay, instantly I can see on their face. They're connecting to that because that looks like it hurts like hell. Despite lacking the ability to get any sort of feedback whatsoever, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna give you three different variations. Once you look in the mirror, whatever makes you look the ugliest is probably the best. So all three are gonna set up the same way. You're gonna make a fist and make your own little preacher curl. So shove that into your body and you're locked in place. Now the first variation, you're gonna lean back the entire time and curl up from there. Just 45 degrees, maybe a little bit less, and sit there and curl. The second one, I want you to really exaggerate and lean forward to where if you had to extend all the way down, your elbow would drift forward. So don't extend all the way down. Stop a little bit short, and you're gonna really lean forward and stay curled the entire time. And the last one's a hybrid. So at the bottom of the movement, you're gonna lean back. At the top, you're gonna lean forward and curl into it. Most people are gonna feel the last one the most, but it really just depends on how that bicep inserts. A lot of people who have really short insertions feel this one the most. So try it out, and again, whatever makes you the most ugly is probably the one for you. Skillshare reached out and they said, hey, we would love to sponsor this video. We think this would be a great time to kind of harbor people's creativity. I said, screw that. Let's teach them how to learn a new skill and make some money. Because if you're stuck at home, you have no way to go to work, you've already taken your old gym shirts, cut them up in a little mask and try to sell them an Etsy and that didn't work, you're gonna need some new skills. So when I first got into training, I was at the gym, I had this old trainer from Boston come up to me and say, hey kid, I wanna tell you something. You know about this much. I went, oh. Really? That sucks. And he goes, you don't get it. You know this much, but 99% of the population knows this much. You got enough to really help some people. And that's when the light bulb really went off for me. It really only takes a little bit of information to be able to provide value to somebody else who really needs it to be able to help them. And that's the beauty of Skillshare. It's an online learning community that literally has thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. So whether you wanna deepen a passion, get lost in creativity, or most importantly right now, learn a new skill, it's the place for you. I'm currently taking Draplin's course on how to make awesome merch because people have asked for it. But if you can hop in there and learn to make merch as good as Draplin, message me your designs because at that point, we're in business. So whether you're gonna learn a new skill like Illustrator or step up your camera skills and create a channel for yourself, or even just step up your Instagram game to create better thirst traps, I think you're gonna love Skillshare. It's curated specifically for learning. That means there's no annoying ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you and it's less than 10 bucks a month on an annual subscription. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of their premium membership to explore their creativity, most importantly, learn a new skill. Fuck yeah. All right, let's tear up that brachialis a little bit because I think it gets undervalued by a lot of people, but from an aesthetic standpoint, it's an incredibly valuable muscle. It gives that arm that 3D look, that bicep fullness. Have you ever seen anybody who has a very thin bicep 
Undervalued brachialis is probably the culprit. And the cool thing about it is you can laser in and focus and just hit that brachialis by shortening the range of motion and getting that wrist involved. So instead of doing like a hammer style concentration curl, you shorten the range of motion where this is all you're gonna move, but really where the magic happens is when you start to rotate that wrist and really exaggerate the rotation and that little bit of extra twist at the top is really where you're gonna see the, the most engagement out of that brachialis. Before we go, we gotta take a trip. So on a brighter note, I'll be able to get access to the gym. So by the time the quarantine lifts for pretty much everybody, I'll be able to get a program out because to be honest with you, I've been doing some research, buying up everybody else's program, and there's a lot of crap out there. And I don't mean quantity, I mean steaming piles of. So what I wanna do is build a program that's completely video based, week by week, and I'm invested with you. So I'm gonna be doing the workouts with you because I think that's how it should be done. So instead of over-promising and under-delivering like all the programs I bought recently, I wanna give you a ton of value, not just a bag of dick.